All right. We are back. Clay Davis versus Rico Gonzalez. Clay with a break, going to break six. I think it's going to be a dry one. It is. Seven ball rolls weird in front of the one there. All right, we're waiting on Rico. I think Rico ran to the the little boys' room really quickly. It's good though. Give us, give you guys uh, some time to get back up in here. Everybody's doing all right tonight. For those of you who are playing in the APA cities up there at the Q, the other Q, smoking Q. Hope you're shooting well. And if you're not, go do some drills, man. Get better. And here he comes. I like the super. I'm going to do a long look at this one, understandably so. Trying to figure out what kind of defense he can play here. It's didn't quite work out for him. I mean, that's about as good as you can get on that kind of shot. It's always going to be tough, but also Clay can see the fullness of this one ball. Bracket. Gotcha. Better put the bracket in the comments here. I was just gonna put it on the page. You should definitely put it in the comments. And then I can pin it. I'll do that too, but I'm gonna post it on the page also. Okay. Boy, Rico's going to come up short on that one ball. He's going to give Clay a chance here at something. See who can get going first, it looks like. Oh, man. Brushes up against the three. I think he's going to be able to get a shot on the two anyways. We have pinned the bracket in the chat in case you're curious about the, uh, oh boy, undercut that one. Uh, 
I definitely feel like most people that are watching would take Clay to win this match. Same. I personally think Rico can put up a fight. I think this can be close. Like, I think this is definitely no pushover. No. Rico in his high gear, you know, yeah. is dangerous. If he's on the table, it's a problem for you. Yeah. And, I mean, he beat the legend earlier, Eddie Little. Right. Just played a jam up safe. That's a great job. Yeah. I mean, he's he's bringing in his A game. I mean, he's definitely, you know, not just going to roll over and hand this to Clay. <clears throat> and once again, Mike Davis back there practicing straight pool. Last time we were here, he ran 375 balls. What? I just made that up. Okay. I was like, dog. But he did practice. And, you know, we watched him a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Last time me and Rico were watching him practice straight pool before the finals and we just kept saying that he was, you know, on like an 80 ball run. And like, but really, I think he was like on like the first rack. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. So Clay here, be interesting to see if he, does, I mean, be interesting to see if he decides to jump this. You know, he likes to jump. I would kick it because I think maybe you could kick it and get safe. Like maybe you could kick it and spin off with the cue ball, spin either way, up yeah. table or down table. Yeah. I personally would maybe try to spin it back down table to leave the cue ball back down here where we're at. I think maybe that's what I would try to do. I don't dislike it. I, I think I might jump here just because yeah. I don't have a full eight ball to jump over. Yeah. I just have a piece of it and I just... But where does the, like, I mean, where does the three ball go? I'm trying to hit the three ball square, almost square into the rail. Yeah. Square into the rail and send it so towards that five. So you're not trying to make it. Yeah. So you're I'm not trying, trying to, to make it. I'm not trying to make it. I'm just trying yeah. to send it towards that five. Maybe I make it that way, but if not, at least I touched it. Yeah. I just don't want to get them ball in hand. I mean, then the one problem is you can scratch up there in the top left corner. You know, I mean, either way, it's this is definitely not an easy situation to be in. I mean, Clay using his timeout early here. <laughs> Those, uh, we do have no, we do have no limit on bathroom breaks, though. So, there's no limit, you know, he can use it as many times as he wants. When nature calls, you got to answer. Right. All those Shirley Temples going straight through them. When nature calls. Oh, first of all, one of my favorite movies, Ace Ventura 2, when nature, uh, when nature calls is. Yeah, it's better than the first one. Oh, for sure. So he's actually going to kick from up table. And he hits it. Oh, I think he made it. Oh, the cue ball got in the way. It was tracking, though. Yeah. I didn't even think about kicking that way, honestly. But yeah, Ace Ventura number two is way better than number one. The story is not as good, but it's way funnier. Right. Yeah. Jim Carrey. Clay having a great time on the sidelines. Oh, Clay. Clay's having a good day. Rico with another safety. Now, this is one Clay probably jumps in. Yeah, look at him. He's already back. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. We haven't seen Chacho Airlines in a long time. There it is. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, wow. Man, dude, I tell you what. That's just a bad roll. Good shot. Bad roll. He's one of the most unique jumpers. <laughs> yeah. Because he takes no time. No, yeah. He just goes up there and slams it. It's fun to... Oh, what? What? No. Um, An uncharacteristic miss by Rico. It's got to be said. It's a mistake. Yeah, that's... uh Wow. I definitely thought Rico was going to be out there, right. honestly. Like, that was crazy. Ball in hand. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not sure. Has Rico, has, does he have a top four finish in the full series yet? Top four? That's a good question. I don't know. I, I know he's been fifth six before, I yeah, believe. I don't know if he's been top four. Yeah. I think he did. I think he has one time. I think maybe the first time here. It wouldn't surprise me. Yeah. I just can't remember. So where we need our Tony Reale guy, <laughs> our stat boy. Stat boy's playing on the table behind us. He is, yeah. Oh, that's a really good shot. Jesus. Oh, it's going to go into the drink. Jesus, man, that's crazy. Oh. What, what bad rolls there. So Rico takes rack one. Um, I mean... On some weird, two weird rolls there by Clay, honestly. And just 
the the Rico gave Clay a gift and Clay regifted. I wouldn't even say he regifted. That's just a wild like I think he played that correctly. It just flattened out. Yeah. It just flattened out. He didn't catch that mm. top, like the top of the corner like he was yeah. trying to, I think. Yeah, he was definitely wanting to hit the top rail. Mm. Yeah, that's hmm. wow. Very unexpected. Very unexpected there. <clears throat> Rico getting some momentum here. These guys have played before, by the way, on the on the stream at Rackham. Oh, okay. I was gonna say what yeah. was that? It was at Rackham. So at least 2023. Because we did not go there in 2024. Mm. Let's see what that does for Rico's confidence because he was really beside himself when he rattled that football yeah. ball. It looked like he might have almost been ready to give up mentally mm. already. Yeah. Instead, he's up one nothing. Set number one. Makes the wing ball. Makes no other balls, but that's a good break. Goes flying in. He's yeah. going to have some defense here. Yeah, I like to come. He basically is going to Cut the one ball towards the four and come like three rails with the cue ball down here, maybe behind the six. I like that shot. Maybe you can even, maybe you can even just get it behind the nine ball, maybe. I definitely think that's the correct play here. Because anything else, he, might, he yeah. might even go the other way. Well, I just Which think I think, I think might be to your point now that I see that shot might be too. But yeah, look at it. look at you see where he's trying to yeah. get that cue ball. Well, Which I don't like because that's gonna it's it's too risky almost. There's so like, much more precision that yeah. you need versus the other way. The other way you can kind of let your stroke yeah. out, like you say. Well, plus the other way, worst case scenario, you just leave them end to end. Yeah. Like if you mess up here, you giving up a shot probably. And he, I think he is actually doing what you said. I think he's just looking at shooting the one into that spot. Yeah, he's probably right just making sure he doesn't make the four ball. Yeah, see, great shot. He did get the cue ball. Yeah, so he did flatten it out enough. Actually got him on the two. Yeah, really good shot right there. I think Clay might be able to see this ball. He did. Huh? Well, what a good shot. See that there was a window there for him yeah. to see. But that's still, Rico still played the correct shot, though. Right. Yeah. And then Clay gets a great roll, a very fortuitous roll. Now, there is a combo opportunity here. Yeah, it almost, you have to go try it. Yeah. It's just a little off center. He's looking for. He's taking his time now. He did not take his time that first rack when he missed ball in hand. Yeah. Sure is that taking his time now. It's playing much faster. Yeah. That first rack. Good shot. the combo. Good shot. And yep. So this match looks like it might be one of uh, bad roll after bad roll. <laughs> right. Oh. We saw Clay get a couple of bad rolls the first rack. Now I'm counting that as a bad roll right there because that was a good shot. Looks like Eddie's up one nothing on Dan. No, it's one to one actually. It's one to one. Dan's having a good day, man. Having and a good day. yeah, Dan's a good player, man. <laughs> I don't oh, it sells out. Yeah, I don't know if that's the correct answer there. I think I might try to sometimes send that cue ball back up the table. Yeah, exactly. Right exactly. Yeah. Sometimes he and a lot of players, you know, they try to play too perfect because obviously if he freezes them behind there, you know, it's definitely you're probably gonna lead a ball in hand. But if you don't, you give up a shot. What a shot right there, though. It's a really good shot right there. I mean, they're sitting pretty good now from where he's at. If he doesn't. Oof. Yeah. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't know if he hit it enough. Oh, I don't know what this guy's doing here. Oh, he's going to go put the cubes up. I guess there's nowhere else to put them. I guess that's the only spot. Looks like it. Yeah. It's kind of surprising. Oh, no, there's one behind us. Yeah. Nice socks. <laughs> no, this guy, he looks pretty cool. He's probably pretty cool. Just, you know. Yeah, you know, got to put the cues up. Got to get out of here. Yeah, I mean, that's nice of them. Some people just leave them on the table. 
see if that messed with him. Doesn't look like it messed with him. Needs the cue ball to stop a little bit. Or go. Yeah. So you can actually shoot that into the side. Yeah, you're now going to be jacked up a little bit. Jesus. Another, I'm counting that as another bad roll, possibly. Yeah. He's married up on that. Handles it nicely, though. Yeah, it's that ball pretty good. Doesn't try to do too much either. Just accepts short side right. position and a long shot all the way down. He loves these shots, by the way. He does. Yeah. But he might play safe here, honestly. I don't know. I think he got it. I think he's playing safe here. You think so? Yeah. No. Don't worry about what I say. <laughs> So just as I predicted, Clay makes a great shot on the eight ball. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, just, you know, that's no fear. You're down one nothing in a match right. that you're probably supposed to win. Right. And you know, if you miss that ball, you're down two nothing. And he still goes for it. That's just, you know, the heart of a champion. That's what we like to say. Now it's going to be Clay's break. Um, let's see how he responds now. I mean, that was a fantastic shot. Yeah, I mean, and to your point, he, he made two to three really good shots. Yeah. Even with the not-so-perfect position, he's still making shots. His confidence is up. Yeah. So he looks at that shot. He's like, okay, I got nothing that I got to avoid except the side pocket. I'm yeah. taking this. And you know you're not going to be anywhere near the side pocket, really. Oh, oh now scratch. Wow. Pretty good break, too. The balls didn't really spread out too much. You made... Made one ball, um, one on the right side. Yeah, they didn't really. I don't really see anything hard here. Maybe from the three to the four, but it's not going to be that crazy difficult, really. Only thing here now, you got to go get that bridge. I don't think he's going to stretch across. Yeah, the I don't know exactly why he played it that way. I would have probably just stopped it, kind of. Right. Like, I understand sometimes it's good to get close to your. You know, close to your work, but sometimes it's not good to get close to your work. Because now, also, now you got to hit this ball really good to be able to get to the four because it's like which side of the non ball do you go on? Oh, there you yeah, go. Exactly. That's freaking great. Yeah, that's exactly how you're supposed to play it. That was a fantastic shot right there. This is a big rack right here. It is. Frico can get out here. He gets on the hill, and it'll be his break. <laughs> Pat's done with his food. Now I need me uh, Arnold Palmer, Arnie Palmies. Mm, those are good. Or they got some brownies over there. <laughs> <laughs> those are good also. Katie over there giving lessons in eight ball, it looks like. It's yeah, she's weird. playing in the Saturday night tournament at Irish Gear. Like everybody should come and play in. It's a, a losses tournament played on the seven foot tables. Oh. Oh. This table, man, I'm telling you, this table, you can't hit those balls. No, man. Like, you can't punch. No. Yeah. Play goes for defense. I mean, you have to hit those balls so perfect on this right. table. It's weird, too, because they don't play, like, the pockets aren't tight. And they don't really play tight. It's going to get a bit of a roll right here. Yeah, I mean, well. that's, but that's also, it, but... but he knew that he had a free roll on that bank shot. Like, yeah, yeah I mean, that's, you know, there, if you miss, you're going to get some kind of safe. Of course, Clay hits it pretty good. Gonna leave Rico where he can see the ball, though. Rico, hey, this one, it's, it's getting a little tougher now. It is. Yeah. What started off as an, a, an out of the rack yeah. has turned into a defensive battle yeah. right before us. Yeah. And honestly, in a defensive battle, I like Clay. 100%. Yeah. Be interesting to see what exactly he does here. Bends it. Yeah, that's a good shot. Perfect. Wow. Great what shot by Rico. Like? Yeah, that's a, like in a defensive battle. It's a great battle. Clay kicks good, though. Let's be a little two railer here. Oh, he missed it. Wow. I don't think he could quite reach it. I think that was part of the problem. I think the bigger part is just how much he rushed it. 
Well, yeah, that too. Yeah. So Rico with ball in hand here. He missed the last time he had ball in hand. I'm gonna draw back and come in between the nine and eight. Gets into the nine. That was a really risky shot. Yeah, I don't know if I like that actually. <laughs> Now, she should just be able to kind of stun it over, I think, for the six. Yeah, she just kind of slide up towards the seven. Just a bit. Oh, oh Rico. Trying too hard to hold it. Yeah, I think um, I think Rico's playing a little tight here. Yeah. Maybe the pressure being on the stream, maybe the pressure getting into the money, maybe the pressure playing Clayton Davis. Lots of factors here. Mm. Clay playing with the... Titties on the side pocket there, so to speak. <laughs> Isn't that what they say? So to speak, yeah. You know, that's that's how they say it, I think, in the APA. It's a good shot. Mm -hmm. Is he gonna get straight in? Hmm. I don't know if that's where he was wanting really. No, definitely not. Like I don't even know. I mean, that's I thought he was gonna get on the right side of the set. Yeah. I thought he was gonna go for the side pocket. See, that the way he shot that is how he how he wanted to shoot the six ball just now. Yeah, you know? Yeah. Now he's on the rail, which is the last spot that you wanted to be in. Right. Of course, he hits that ball good. Nails it. Yeah, it gets about almost straight in here. About the nine ball that we, you know, makes the nine ball. He goes up two to one, taking the lead. And it has to be said, honestly, perhaps two racks that Rico's given up. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. You know? And honestly, even, even the rack that Rico won. Yeah, almost gave that up it's, as well. It's Rico's break here. They're kind of, I think, confused. It sounds about right with these two. I'm gonna go get me a uh, an Arnie Palmer. You want something? Oh boy, no, my Coke's right there. But okay. if you want to grab it on your way back, that'd be great. Twill. Justin's a little lazy. Doesn't want to get up and get his own drink. That's five feet away. Yeah. But um, did Katie win her first match in the Saturday night tournament? She did. Nice. Two losses. It's gonna be tough. Thanks, Pat. Oh, can anybody buy break and run tickets or just for people of the All right, so Rico's break here. He's going to break from the left side. <clears throat> Obviously, he needs to win this rack here to uh, stay alive in set number one. Ooh, is that going to be a drop break? No, oh, actually ended up making two balls straight in on the one. That's actually a fantastic break. Rico's broke good a couple times today. Not just in this match, but in his other matches as well. Rico definitely playing good today. Definitely showing out here. Hasn't done too well in the last couple of full series events. Oh, he missed the one ball. I think maybe he was concerned about where the cue ball was going to go, maybe. Clay will probably play some kind of safety here. I don't know. Maybe leave the cue ball on the eight. Yeah. See, just like that. Really good shot there by Clay Davis. That was a really good shot. We'll show show the replay of that safety there. I mean, Rico needs to load this ball up with some spin if he's going to hit it right there where he was pointing. Let's see here if he can get it here. Oh, yeah, he did get it. He was able to put enough spin on it, and he might get safe. He's going to get a great roll out of that. Yeah, fantastic shot there by Rico Gonzalez. Now, the only thing that I can possibly see is he might come straight up right here with a little bit of right. No, no, you're going to go two rails. Go two rails around? Yeah. yeah. There you go. Just like that. Yeah. He's going to make the eight. He did make the eight ball. Wow. Yeah. And that's why you go two rails right there, Pat. I hope you were learning. <laughs> you're learning something. Getting learned. No, really? I think you go two rails because it... Oh. Two rails definitely makes it an easier hit, and you might get safe. And speaking of safe, I think Clay might have got safe. He did, but 
And the thing about the piece that Rico can see, mm -hmm. he's it's gonna scratch. No, maybe. I think you kick at this ball. Even if you can see a little bit of it, I think you kick at it. I think yeah, I would. I would come right in between the three and the nine. I mean, that's the worst kind of angle to illustrate what I wanted to do. But which way do you kick? Seven rails? Um, did you see Mike earlier kick four rails at a ball? At the three at the top? Yeah. Yeah, I did uh, see that. Yeah, I think one rail kick probably here, maybe. Yeah, I think that's... It's tough to say, man. There's really not a good option here, I don't think. Like, maybe here, honestly, if you can just see a tiny bit of it, you just take your point. Like, you just take the, you know. Take the medicine. Yeah, take the medicine. That's the saying. And you just, you know, just hit whatever you can. Just do whatever. You gotta just take the poison sometimes, Justin. Yeah, well, I was thinking yeah. poison, you know, medicine. It's all the same. <laughs> medicine is poison. No. He's poison for a virus. That's right. Huh. He's in the kick here. He kicks it. He's gonna leave Clay a shot here now. I don't really know what else Rico really could have done there. I mean, <clears throat> that was kind of a tough situation. You just kind of hope for the best. I mean, more than anything, you just don't want to give the guy a ball in hand. He or I mean, well, he basically did. Yeah. Really. I mean, really, you just kind of hope that you leave it tough is really all that you had to hope for. Kevin Candido practicing now. He's got his match up next on this table. Hot seat match. Clay fires in the three ball. Ooh, you got a hold of that one. Now this... Man, this is tough here, man. He made, made it look champ. Yeah, he made it look easy. That's when you know you're feeling good and when you like the speed of the table. Donnie, so Clay's going to take set number one. Clay takes set number one. I think it'll be Rico's break. So Clay takes that one three to one. Rico definitely uh, had his opportunities. Yeah, but like he definitely gave that set away. Yeah, I mean he uh, he had his moment moments to kind of take control. It kind of it sucks when that happens too because against Clay you don't know how many chances you're actually going to get. Right. Like when it's like when it gets to the point where there's nothing that you could do. Yeah, you know he's yeah. on. Yep. So now he's. Now you're not only fighting from behind, but now you're fighting that, wow, I could actually be ahead. Right. But also, in this format, it's just, far from over. Just win this set. That's right. First of all, win this rack. Yeah. In Clay's match that he lost earlier today, he won the first set 3 nothing. Oh, wow. So I'm just saying. Yeah. Yeah. I'm saying anything can happen. So Rico going to break from the left side again. I don't know exactly what he's looking at here. Taking his time a little bit there. Do you think that's what he was doing? I think so. Yeah. He's taking his time, trying to be a little bit more intentional about things, maybe. Yeah, I hope he's not still thinking about that Florida State season so far. <laughs> Going to be a drop break here. Almost straight in on the one ball. I mean, I was still, I still believe that this could go to the third set. There's definitely still a chance that this goes to the hill. Yeah. But, I mean, the more chances you give Clay, you know what I mean? Like, the more chances he has like this at an open table. Right. You can definitely just see it wash all wash away. Of course, oh. then he misses balls like that. But then now look. Look at the rolls he's yep. making. So he had, he had a couple bad rolls early, and now he's starting to get some good rolls. So I always say things even out. But you hate that for the opponent. Right. <laughs> <laughs> like, if you're Rico, you're like, why does it have to even out now? I think you might have to kick at this, kind of send the two ball back down table. Yeah. Go two rails a bit. You, you know? might be able to get the cue ball, I mean, you might be able to get the two ball on the six. Mm -hmm. 
it's definitely a tough spot. I mean, the one good thing about it being so close to the rail, you can kick and stick the cue ball. Right. So it, I would just focus on that and just letting the two ball go where it goes. Right. I mean, you can try to get fancy and try to get the two ball in a certain spot, but then you might let the cue ball roll out a little bit. Like where's where's his mental right now? You know, yeah. the confidence to be able to execute that from a shot. Like that's not bad. That's not bad. It's not bad at all. Yeah. Clearly, well, can see a piece of it to be able to kind of separate the two. Unless I don't, I don't like the jump here because I don't like how close to five and the two are. Oh, like you really yeah. gotta land just before that two. I think you can see some of it though. Oh, like I'm pretty sure he can. Yeah, that's a good shot. Yeah, that's a really good shot. He's figured out the speed of this table. Rico thinking about the jump shot now. I don't like this. Man, you know, though, this is the kind of jump shot that he makes. Like, this know. is the kind of stuff that Rico pulls out. You know what I'm saying? It would like, be an incredible shot. I just don't like how, I don't like the angle in which he has to do it. Yeah. You know, it's kind of, it's, it's, it's really awkward. As if he feels comfortable with it, I'm not opposed to it because I don't really see a good kick shot. Right. Like, really, I don't see a good kick shot. It's a pretty good shot. Over. Yeah, he gets over. It's a pretty good shot. I mean, it's not going to be a very good outcome. I mean, it's not the worst outcome. Right. right? He's got that sucker on yeah. the rail at least. I mean, he's got to be happy with that, all things considered. Oh, wow. Right. Made it difficult here yeah. that ball on the rail. Exactly. I think it was a little off the rail. If it was on the rail, I feel like you know, I feel like if it was on the rail, it was definitely going to go in. Had to be off the rail a little bit. I feel like this is that moment where you have to try to make, you got to try to get ball in here. You got to play defense. I don't like the bank. He's played a couple of good safeties already. So <clears throat> I mean, a lot of balls still on the table. So yeah, where he's at over there is where you want the cue ball to be. I think he uh, nicked a ball there with his t-shirt. I think it was a three. It was a three. There you go. That was the other way? No, that's how. That's the right way. He just hit too much of the two ball. But he got safe. Yep. That was definitely the correct way to go, though. I think he was wanting the cue ball. He was wanting to hit it thinner and bring the cue ball down here closer to where the six is, though. Mm -hmm. Clay can see a piece of the two. Yeah. I need to be able to make it, honestly. Just spin the cue ball around a little bit. No, I don't think so. No. Yeah, defense for sure. Not a bad, not a bad defense. It's going to be a window for oh, yeah, yeah. Rico to see it as well. Yeah, this is some good strategy play. I was enjoying this match, man. This might be my favorite match so far of the day. It's like, who's going to blink first? Yeah. So one good thing about people not just breaking and running every rack. Like, you get to see cool strategy play. I mean, it's fun to watch everybody break and run every rack, too, but right. still. There's an appreciation for good defense and good strategy play to your point. Yeah. It's a lost art. Oh, boy. And Rico might have blinked first. All right, so ball in hand. He's going to get the two ball. He's going to get the three ball. Uh, it's, you know, I don't see the four ball being the problem or the five ball. Maybe the five to the six. He got kind of straight right here. Yeah, that's okay. I mean, yeah, you can just take a far shot on the four. Because you don't really have to do anything with the cue ball here.
Now this is the, this is the shot though right here. You gotta draw this one back. Draw it back over about where his chalk is sitting. And it's pretty good. Yeah, almost hit where his chalk was, right? Yeah, just about just yeah. a moment. He's got himself a nice angle. Should be able to come up above that seven here. Yep. Oh, he's playing short side. That's a yeah. I think that's a shot. Yeah, that's the smart play there because you don't have to over hit it, especially on this table the way it's playing. Yeah, I got a weird angle. Yeah, I thought it was a lot deeper than that. Yeah, I mean, and even if he was a lot deeper, I just think the way this table plays that that was the right shot. Yeah, like that's why sometimes you gotta know the table you're playing on. Good shot there. And this is the part that we were talking about where Clay just, now it's not so much that you're giving him something, he's just on, you know? Yeah, I know. Now he's starting to take over. So now it's like, you know, you kind of blew your chance, like, to have a set. Right. Now you're going to have to really fight for it. Because really, Clay kind of gave him the first set, too. Very much. By making a couple mistakes and getting a couple bad rolls. Clay's break, and you know, it's probably the way this is going, it's probably about time for Clay to break and run. I feel like he hasn't he hasn't done one this match. And you know, I don't even think he did one in his other match on the stream table either. I was just gonna say he needs a good roll after this break. Yeah, I mean makes the three. I think he I think he's got it, dude. Uh, no, no, they they ball, ball. Really weird. <clears throat> yeah, that's you know, you make three balls, <laughs> and naturally two of them have to be tied up. And then there's no other ball near him, really, to try to knock him out. Right. Well, like, well he's got the six ball there that he can use yeah, to knock but him out. Sometimes it's risky knocking it out with the ball before. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. Like you're, well, I guess a seven ball would be the ball before. So, yeah, you're right. Maybe he could do it with the six. Because he's going to have to go one, two, six right here. Yeah. So I think maybe you could be right. I think maybe he could... um try to do it with the six, but it's going to be hard now, right. too, because of the angle he has on the two ball. I mean, he could play for the bank on the eight, but you don't want to have to do that. Yeah. Definitely don't want to do that. It's also, though... Look at that angle he got to be able to kind of force this. It's not good, though. Oh, no, he's going to play safe here. He's going to play safe here. He's going to play safe here. They really turned up the jams. Yeah, man, it's party time now. Oh uh, no, he's not playing safe. Yeah, who plays safe? <laughs> I'm I'm not even gonna predict what he's gonna do anymore. Like, because obviously I'm wrong. That's twice now he's gone for a crazy <laughs> shot. You know, honestly, I try to knock it out here. What would you do? I think you got you got option. You can do your top right, or you can do like top left. I like top left a little bit better. Or no, he's. Does this ball go? I don't. He's looking at it like it does, dude. I don't know. I know. I mean, it's this is close, man. I mean, he plays D. That plays a really good defensive shot. I mean, it was just good enough to get there. That's about what I thought he would do the whole time, Sorry. honestly. Yeah. Like that's uh, it's pretty good. Does leave a good chance for a two rail kick here, maybe even a three rail kick. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Coming up this way a little bit. Right? Yeah. Are you sure? Okay. If you didn't tell me, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. They asked four weeks ago. Oh, that's good. That's good. As long as it's good. Oh, let's get a country. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I, yeah, I couldn't tell you. <laughs> no, you were good, though. Thank you. Hey. Oh, Pat knows this song, huh? <laughs> yeah, right. Do you know it? You know it? I do yeah. not know this song. I was taking a good look at a uh, good long look at this. To your point, he's he's gonna have to go two, three rails. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and you have to go that way too because 
normally you can probably hit the bottom rail where we're at, but being jacked up on the non ball makes that really tough. Right. If he was just frozen to the back of the non, then he would hit the bottom rail and go this way. But being where he's at, he's got to go up there where he's at. Um, honestly, I don't think it's a, I don't think it's really that tough to hit the ball. It's going to be more so what happens when you do hit it. I think both. I think both of these are tough. I think it is. If you're tough feeling to really confident, you just slow it and just barely hit it and leave the cue ball frozen to it. If you're feeling super confident, right? Because that's asking a lot. Yeah. Good shot, Rico. I mean, that's sadly though. I mean, that's like the right. best thing that he could hope for. Right. I mean, yeah. I say, I like. I mean, it's kind of an in between shot. Nails it. Well, yeah, I mean. <laughs> Absolutely nails yeah. it. Yeah, do you notice, too, like every ball late in the rack seems to be center pocket for him, too. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, it's. Yeah, good shot there by Clay. Good out. I mean, Rico did all he could there. That was a fantastic kick shot. He hit it full. Yeah. Hit it full. Hit it good. Just, I mean. In that situation, there's nowhere for the ball to hide. I mean, you, you just have to, to roll at that point. Yeah. Yeah, Rico's break here. Um, obviously, it's important that he wins. I, honestly, the only way I see Rico winning from here is uh, Clay making a mistake. Like, lit, like, just... Really choked, like an yeah. absolute choke yeah. has to happen. Uh, yeah, you know what I mean. Like, like there has to be something must happen with there's a huge momentum swing. Was it this match or the last match that we talked about? Like, was that a moment where the momentum swung? Was it the missed nine ball? That was a missed nine ball, by Eddie. Okay, and then the momentum did not swing. No, <laughs> no, it did not. I mean, but you know, that's you know, strong mental players. You know what I mean? Like, right. other players could fall apart when they miss the nine ball to win. Like, oh, I missed a nine ball to win. I, I should just give up. Yeah. Rico, take this time here. I like, you know, he's very methodical on the break. Kind of like that. Like, I just kind of go up there and get down and, you know, the whole process for me takes like seven seconds. Right. But he also has like one of the wildest breaks I've ever seen. Man, his break's really good, though. I like his break. It's solid. And yeah. it doesn't seem like it's going to be as solid or as accurate as it yeah. is. Because he's like, like it's here. it's crazy to me that that was a drop break. Like I'm amazed whenever he drop breaks. He's calling a non ball. That's crazy because he's gonna make the one if he makes this the open. He's calling a non ball. I like it. I like it because honestly, the cue ball. If he's playing the one inside, the cue ball should hit the right. seven or nine. Yeah. That's still a fantastic shot yeah. because he's just separated everything. Yeah. This is going to be difficult here because that four, ball, three ball. Yeah, that four ball actually rolled into a position to make this uh, next shot kind of difficult. Yeah. Ooh, oh, and he rattled it. I thought that he would. Uh, I thought that he would try to play it in the side. Honestly, I thought he was. Oh, the two on the side. Yeah. Hmm. But see now he's now he's getting rolls. Uh huh. He's getting leaves here. Yeah. And sometimes that's a that could be the pool gods punishing Rico, mm -hmm. saying, "Hey, you had your chance, you didn't take it. You know now, just bad things are going to happen." <laughs> yeah, we we forgot to take some action photos today. Uh, we'll have to take some. We'll have to take some here during the. Hot seat match in the finals. Easy billiards has been doing write ups for us. They've been asking for some action photos. <laughs> Have they? Yeah. Oh, yeah. They ask every time. They go, Did you take any photos this time? Every time I say, <laughs> Nope. <laughs> <laughs> but they still do a fantastic job writing up about our tournaments, though. Oh, we love that. Appreciate that. Skip Maloney does a fantastic job. I enjoy reading it every time. Once again, Rico gets into it with a jump shot, and once again, he's going to leave. Shot for yeah, we had to talk about time. this earlier. I think Rico really might be the third best jumper in the tournament today. <clears throat> Who's one and two? Mike and Clay. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, I, it's probably, like, that's a definite top two. 
Good shot there by Clay. Pulls it above the eight nicely. Yeah, has perfect it. position for this three. This is kind of a tricky shot here. There's got to come over and play the four in the same pocket, I think. Yeah, see? Now you almost got to play two rail shape here for the five. Ooh. Kind of got too close. Yeah. Well, I would say he'd play safe here, but he's probably just going to roll the ball down the rail. Yeah. A little top spin, you'll get natural position onto the six. Yeah. Oh, no, he actually, he actually played safe that time. Huh. Well, there you go. What do you know? Yeah. Huh. I did not see that coming. <laughs> no, I, I knew for sure he was going to shoot that shot. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, it was... It was, straight, yeah. it was straight in. I don't know why he played safe there. That's now he's just torturing Rico. I think. I think now he's just playing head games. This is like knowing the situation. Yeah, knowing that he does. He's not the one that has to. He doesn't have the pressure. <clears throat> yeah, you know. Yeah, he's up too well in the second set. Oh, Rico! R Rico had that pretty. Good. The way he reacted. Yeah. Well, he reacted. I think he. Uh, I thought he was gonna be upset, but he actually didn't hit that it's, bad. He 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 hit a Josh Filler just now at a Moscone Cup. He just like hit it and then walked off like he knew where oh, he was yeah. gonna go. Did Josh do that? I didn't. I oh yeah, him. Clay's gonna jump this full cue. Look at that shot. That's, that's pretty good. Makes the seven ball a little bit tougher. Yeah. Makes the safety a really tough too. That actually worked perfect for him. That was a great shot. Wow. Rico really honestly hasn't looked comfortable the last few racks. Mm -hmm. yeah. Ever since this second set started, he's just, yeah. been just almost like writhing in pain. Mm -hmm. Very frustrated, very uncomfortable. Just trying to survive at this point, man. He's having a kick at everything. Yeah. He's kicking and jumping and everything. That's good shots. I mean, once again, he hits it really good. Well, obviously, I'm starting to think that Rico might have a very solid safety game. Oh, yeah, for sure. <clears throat> Is he going to get a shot here? I think he has a shot. I think he has a shot this time. I think he has a shot this time, yeah. Here we go. No more safes. Just wipe this feet and gun yeah. in there. He kind of stood up after through that shot, kind of. Mm. Rico's not playing his best right now. I thought he was playing really good earlier. <clears throat> the defensive been... battle that they got into, man, it took a, it took quite a yeah. long time. Hits that ball pretty good. Oh, he got, hmm, I think it ended up a little too close there. Yeah. Man, that sucks. He's going lefty here again. And he might be trying to make this. I can't tell. Do you think he's trying to make I think it? He's trying to make it. Oh, great shot. It's Great shot, yeah, lefty, lefty play. Let's go. Rico said it's not over yet. He didn't hear no bell ring. Rocky quote for the night for you there. I appreciate that. <laughs> appreciate that. <laughs> Got to get one in. <laughs> one per stream at least. <laughs> well, I know how much you love those movies. God. But here's the thing. This is a difficult shot. Yeah, he's it's 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 just the slightest bit of a back cut, and then he's also going to need a little bit of bottom left to not only avoid the pocket in the top right, but also I played this ball around. in the corner. I played this ball in the corner. He played in the corner. Yeah, I think he just. I think he's doing that now. I think he just switched it up to the corner. Oh, he did. Yeah. He did go for the corner. That might be ball game, bro. Yeah, this is a tough loss for Rico. Honestly, like I really thought, I really thought he had his chances. 
it just, I don't know, things were weird. And a heartbreaker there for Rico. I really hate that for him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's what started off looking like a pretty uh pretty even matchup kind of yeah. turned around very quickly. Yep. But Clay moves on. And next up we're gonna have our hot seat match, Kevin Candido and Mike Davis Jr. Kevin Candido versus Mike Davis Jr. coming up right now. Kevin can win. Kevin can win. Yeah, coming up right now. Kevin can do it. Like coming up in a few minutes. Give us a couple minutes here. I'm going to get some things switched around. We're going to have Mike Davis, Kevin Candido up next. Hot seat match, folks. We made it. Shabbat Shalom, Yisrael. Honestly, I don't know why I always do this one because it's always hitting zero. 